Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this background. Let's open a new document. Here are the color values I will be using for this project. First, we'll create a grid. Click on the Line Segment tool, hold, and select the Rectangular Grid tool. Then, double-click on it to open the dialog box. Set the horizontal and vertical dividers to 11 and click OK. Zoom out. Set the stroke and the fill to none. Click on the tab intersection, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the shift key as well to constrain. Drag it all the way down until the whole artboard is covered with the grid. Next, we will delete some of the grid cells. I've assigned numbers and letters to help you visualize the process. With the grid still selected, press the Shift and M keys on your keyboard to switch to the Shape Builder tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Then press and hold down the Alt key. Now click, hold and drag across the cells that we want to delete. B12 and 11 C9 through 12 D8 through 12, E6 through 12, F5 through 12, G3 through 12, and the entire H row. Now delete the rows at the bottom and all the remaining lines. Next, we'll apply different shades of grey to the remaining cells. Select the medium shade of grey and click on the A12 cell to apply it. Then select the light shade of grey and apply it to A11. Now apply the same light shade to all the other cells at the end of each row. Because our colors are so light, it helps to turn on the transparency grid. Either press the Ctrl, Shift and D keys on your keyboard, or go to View and choose Show Transparency Grid. Now let's add the same light shade of grey to these cells as well. Then select the dark shade of grey and apply it to these cells. Finally, select the medium shade of grey and apply it to the remaining cells. You can experiment with different colors and see what works for you. Basically, you want to keep the darkest and lightest shades close to each other. Next, we will create a shadow and apply it to the bottom where the light and dark boxes meet. First, press the letter L for the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse with a horizontal axis that is the width of two boxes. With the ellipse still selected, open the gradient window and apply the white and black gradient. Change the type to radial, select the black color stop and change its opacity to zero. Select the white color stop and drag one of the dark shades of grey to it. Let's change its opacity to 60%. You can always come back to this window and adjust the gradient if needed. With the ellipse still selected, press the letter G to show the gradient annotator on the screen. And let's make some adjustments. Drag the end point to match the width of the ellipse and bring the top point down to change the aspect ratio to about 
You can also do all of these adjustments in the gradient window. Let's adjust the midpoint as well. Next, we'll cut this ellipse in half. First, let's move it down. Next, either press the Shift and E keys on your keyboard to switch to the Eraser tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Before you do anything, press and hold down the Alt key. Then, click on this anchor point hold and drag a rectangle to cover half of the ellipse. Now release your mouse and then the Alt key. If you like, you can still adjust the gradient. In the next step, we'll copy and paste this gradient to where the light and dark boxes meet. First, let's move it under these two blocks. Now click, hold and drag. And again. Let's do the same with the other rows. And we'll add a half shadow to the dark blocks on the left. Next, we'll add a gradient to the bottom right corner of our artboard. First, create a new layer and move it under layer 1. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle to cover the artboard. Apply the white and black gradient and add a dark and light shade of grey to it. Now adjust the shade and apply the gradient. Finally, we'll trim the left edge. First, make sure the tab layer is selected. Then, draw a rectangle across the whole artboard. Select everything. And now, press the Ctrl and number 7 keys on your keyboard to create a clipping mask. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.